Hello everyone my name is Srinivas and welcome to my channel Tech Studio 82 please do subscribe to my channel for the upcoming latest technical videos in this video i am going to show you how to download and install the latest version of java development kit that is jdk on windows 11 operating system the current version is 19.0.2 and also i will show you how to execute a java script in a command line Okay by the way why do we need to install java development kit software that is jdk on our machine well the java development kit jdk is a cross platform software development environment that offers a collection of tools and libraries that are necessary for developing java based software application so when we install java development kit on our machine it helps to convert our source code into a format that the java runtime environment which we call as jre can execute the jdk includes the java runtime environment that is jre and interpreter java a compiler java c and archiver jar a documentation generator java doc and some other development tools okay let's move on this we are going to do in four steps in the step 1 we are going to download the java development kit software from the oracle website in the second step we are going to install the java software on windows 11 operating system and in the third step we are going to set some environmental variables and in the last step we are going to execute a small java script in order to check whether the java environment is perfectly working or not Okay then let's move on to the first step that is download in this step we are going to download the latest version of java development kit from the oracle official website the current version is 19.0.2 i will show you how to download that open google in any web browser and search with the keyword java jdk download and hit enter On the screen you can see the Google search results. The first link you can see oracle.com. Just click on this, it will direct Oracle official website. On the screen you can see the Oracle official website. Here you can see Java downloads. Just scroll down. Here you can see the Java downloads tab. Under here you can see Java 19 and Java 17 available now. Here Java 17 By default, it will be Java 19. Java IC is nothing but Java Standard Edition Development Kit 19.0.2 downloads. Just scroll down. Here you can see the operating system Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. You need to select this Windows. Just select Windows. Here you can see three types of files: compressed, archived, and the 64-bit installer, MSI installer. Right now, I am going with the installer. This is the one which we need to download the software. The file size you can see 158.91 MB. Just click on this download. On the screen you can see your download got started the file size is 159 MB just click on show all you can see the download progress it all depends upon your internet bandwidth connection it will take some seconds software got successfully downloaded just click on show in folder it will direct to the downloads folder this is my downloads folder and this is the downloaded software so we have successfully downloaded the java software let's move on to the next step that is installation in this installation step we are going to install the java software on windows 11 operating system let me show you how to do that go back to the downloads folder select the java software right click and run as administrator whenever you are installing any software on your machine i strongly recommend you to select run as administrator select run as administrator sometimes you may be prompted for the user control access please give yes on the screen you can see the setup wizard java standard edition development kit 19.0.264 bit setup just click on next we need to select the destination folder by default it will be c program files let it be if you want to change just click on this and you can change it right now i am going with the default one just click on next you can see on the screen you can see the installation progress finally we have successfully installed java standard edition development kit 19.0.264 bit on our windows 11 operating system just click on close now let's move on to the third step that is setting up environment variables this is very important i will show you how to set up the environment variables click on the start menu and search with the keyword environment here you can see edit the system environment variables just click on open on the screen you can see the system properties window click on this advanced and here you can see environment variables you need to click on this you can see the environment variables under here system variables we need to create java home environment variables under system variables so just click on new give the variable name as in capital letters java home java underscore home now we need to define java variable value the absolute directory of the java file just click on this browse directory just scroll down click on this pc click on the c drive under the program files and here java this java jdk java jdk don't forget just click on this java jdk here you can see the folder java jdk 19 just select okay here you can see the absolute path of c program files java java jdk 19 just click on okay here you can see we have created system variable 
Java Home, the path is C program file Java JDK 19. By default, when we install Java on Windows 11 operating system, by default it creates path. Double click on this. Here you can see C program files, common files, Oracle, Java, Java path. So we do not need to explicitly define this path. But we need to create one more Java path. For this, just click on new, click on browse, scroll down, this PC, C drive, program files, Java, JDK and this bin. Please make sure this folder bin. Just click on OK. This path is required so that you can execute any program of Java from any drive. Okay. Just click on OK. Again click on OK. Again click on OK. We have successfully set the environment variables of Java. Now let's move on to the final step that is execution of sample Java program. I will show you how to do that. Now I am going to execute these lines of Java code. First I am going to save this. Control S. I am going to save this file in D drive. File name is demo and uh, we need to save the file type as Java source file. Okay. Just click on this Java source file. Just click on save. Here you can see demo.java. We have successfully saved the file. Now we are going to execute this Java file from the command line. From the start menu, type as command. Here you can see, just click on open. On the screen, you can see the command terminal. Just type the command Java version. Here you can see Java version 19.0.2. If you want to check the Java compiler version, just Java C version 19.0.2. Now you can see my file is in D drive, demo.java. So I need to change the directory. So D colon, hit enter. So you have successfully changed the D drive. Now I'm going to execute this Java. First, I am going to compile this Java C paste demo.java. Hit enter. Here you can see demo.class has been successfully created. The file got compiled successfully. So I'm going to execute this Java space demo. This is my file name demo.java. Just hit enter. You can see it printed hello text studio viewers. This means we have successfully executed the first JavaScript. In this way, we can execute JavaScript. That's it guys. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to press bell icon. Please like and also share my videos to your friends and also please provide your valuable comments on this video. Your comments are highly valuable. Thank you guys.